Hello, this is DTG and this is the instructional setup guide for the new Epson Stylus Pro 9900 printer. My name is Scott Erickson, I'm one of the owners of the company and also involved in the technical aspect. Uh, what we're going to do is actually show you how to set up, um, install and prepare the 9900 for printing. Uh, what you're looking at here is uh, the unboxed contents of the crate that you received. On top of that crate was the stand box, and this is what we'll actually assemble the stand with, the parts that we'll do that with. This is obviously the printer itself. You also would have seen in the box the user manual power cord, a separate box containing the inks for the printer, also a roll of starter media to do the head alignment, and then over here we'll have the end caps and then the printer stand guides. Uh, from here we'll go ahead and set up the printer stand and uh, get the so once we open up the contents of the large cardboard box that the stand comes in, this is what we'll see. We basically have the main stand components, which is the right leg, the crossbar, and then also the left leg. We have the hardware to assemble the uh, cross brace to the legs, and then we have up here basically the basket contents. So what we'll do is go ahead and we'll assemble the stand at this point. Now let's go ahead and assemble the cross brace into each leg, the left and the right. So you usually want two people to do this, but you don't absolutely have to have it if you can uh, get creative on balancing the cross member with the, uh, with the leg. We'll basically take, there's six bolts. We'll take uh, three on each side and screw the legs into the cross brace. So you can hand tighten the bolts, and then once you've got them hand tightened, you can use the included Allen wrench and tighten them down. One thing um, you want to pay attention to when, when setting up the stand is each leg is actually labeled with an L for left and an R for right, and then the cross brace is also labeled. L on the left side, R on the right side. Alright, so once they're all tightened, the stand is basically together at that point. Okay, so once we've got the stand assembled, what we'll do is go ahead and push the stand up towards the front of the printer, and notice that the cross brace is towards the front, and then obviously again, the left hand stand marked L is on the left side of the printer as we face the printer. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lift the printer up onto the stand. Now we're going to do this with two people. Do this at your own risk. You may want to get three or four people involved with this. The printer is heavy. Uh, just to, to, to point out here, basically on the top, we've got some posts. All right. In the bottom of the printer, there's holes where these posts fit. So we're basically going to lift the printer up and position it until these posts fit into the holes in the bottom of the printer. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and lift the printer up onto the stand. Alright, so you, obviously you got to see you can position it a little bit, move it around. might help to have a spotter under there to help guide those posts into the holes. But as you can see, you can do it with two people. Um, again, we probably recommend three or four if you can, if you can uh, get the people. So the printer is secured to the base, the stand, with two wing nuts. 
and lock washers. So we'll go ahead and on either side of the printer go ahead and install those. At this point, we're just going to go ahead and remove all the uh, packing material and tape that uh, tape the, uh, the packing and cover material onto the printer. So after we remove the packing tape, the last step is we're going to go ahead and remove the headlock. And this basically keeps the head from moving from left and right on the carriage during shipment. So you'll notice actually up towards the control panel, you've got this little cardboard item that's showing you how to do that. We'll do is just go ahead and lift the cover up, and if you look inside the printer, you'll actually see this blue sponge um, stop that's actually locking the head down. I'll just pull it to the left to remove it, and that's all there is to it. Um, if you think for any reason you may be shipping this printer or transporting it in the future, you may want to hold on to this little uh, stop gap here. Okay, so at this point you could put together the stand, um, and it may say that in the, in the user's manual, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug the printer in, turn it on so that we can char or install the ink cartridges and charge the ink system. This does take a little bit of time, so a uh, little tip, while that's doing that, we can actually work on the, uh, the stand uh, basket assembly. So basic, basically to supply power to the printer, the AC receptor is right on the back towards the center of the printer. We'll go ahead and plug that in to one end of the cable and then go ahead and plug it in to your power outlet. At this point, we'll go ahead and turn on the printer. So to install the ink cartridges, we're going to go ahead and push this button here in the lower left to open up our ink cartridge doors. So we'll scroll down and say open right and left covers and then hit OK to open those covers up so we can access the ink wells. Once we hit OK, the ink covers will open and there is one ink cover on the right side, another ink cover on the left side. <clears throat> At this point, let's go ahead and install the ink cartridges. It does not matter what order we install those ink cartridges in. So we'll grab an ink cartridge. We actually want to shake it a little bit. Don't have to get crazy with it. Just shake it mildly for about four or five, six seconds. All right, and then we'll open up the bag. A little tip on the bag, instead of using scissors or struggling with it, trying to get it open, there's a little notch on the upper right hand corner that basically you can just tear down and then open the ink very quickly and easily. <clears throat> so on top of the ink cartridge is an actual arrow, arrow excuse me, that shows you the direction in which you have to install the ink cartridge. On the front cover panel, it actually is color coded. So we'll basically insert the cartridge into that slot, push it, and you'll feel a clicking action, and that means it's basically seated at that point. So again, we'll find the notch in the ink bag, tear down. We can shake it again. We can shake it before or after. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that you shake it for about five seconds, and then we'll go ahead and install it, find the arrow. Again, find the uh, correct slot, insert, feel it click, and that's it. So we'll do that for each of the 11 colors for the 9900. Cartridges, we'll go ahead and close the ink cover doors and the printer will detect that we've installed the ink. If it detects all ink cartridges, you've inserted them correctly, it will continue on. So once installed, it will start charging the ink. This process does take a few minutes, so at this point we can go ahead and start assembling the basket.